welcome back to today's video. Sam and the girls have gone to take care of the horses. Today, I'm gonna show you what we accomplished last night, and then we're gonna get busy on our projects for today. The dogs know we're going outside, and they are excited. They wanna go outside. Um, we got internet here last night. This is gonna be our office and it's not gonna always look like this. We're gonna do a couple of different projects in here. Uh, it's basically like the dining room that we had at our old house, but our computers are over. The girls' computers are over. And we're starting to set up this area. It's actually quite a big room. Like the whole house sounds echoey on camera because it's so big and so empty. We're gonna bring blinds over soon and it, and start making this, like start decorating, but we have most of our stuff over, most of it, not all of it. We still have moving day and people coming to help us. Uh, someone did ask about Sam's chair and it is here. I have this little section over here. I'm gonna use this for our kids' toys. So when my grandkids come over, they don't have to go upstairs where they used to have to go to get toys. Their toys are just in here with all of us. Nothing is done in the house yet at all. And that's not our priority. Uh, outside is our priority. So let's go see what we accomplished last night. Chicken coop is empty, ready to go. Sam's gonna build it today. He got all the stuff we need. So we're gonna finish this today so that the chickens can come home, maybe by the weekend. I still have to clean this out and I am going to clean this out, but you guys can see there are a couple little piles of wood so I can't cut on that. So I can't cut it, but they're just tiny. I think I can get them picked up easily. So that's on the agenda today. That is a for sure thing happening because the only way Sam can fix this chicken coop is, and make it predator proof is to be able to get in there. Last night while I was working on that, Sam was working on Chino's field. It's the field that needs the most work, obviously. You guys might remember that there are two gates here. So there's this big, huge gate here that closes and blocks it off from like here. And then there's that second gate over there. We're gonna leave this one closed because it's a grass field. We could even put horses in there and let them graze. Um, we're just gonna use this, this fence here. But Sam took the tractor along and dug all this up. There's some rocks, not too many rocks. Like actually I'm shocked how few rocks there are so we can pick those up, especially over time we could pick them up. Today I'm gonna to come and cut all this stuff with my little lawnmower and he couldn't get in here i'm going to cut this and i have to cut this down because chino will eat any green stuff <laughs> he, he eats leaves he jumps up to the trees and eats leaves he's just a leaf eating boy so i'm going to cut all this stuff but he tried to get in here and dig it up i might also put dirt in here also i can tell like there's not much shade in here in the morning so i'm gonna I'm actually gonna get something and cover this. Maybe I'll get Sam to build it in so that he has shade, they have shade, him and Willow. But this is pretty much dug up now. And it goes, it goes pretty far back. It's not huge, but it's a good sized dirt paddock just for two horses. I'm actually shocked. I did not know how the communal stalling idea was gonna go over on our channel because we have a lot of people who are hunter jumper types and really like stalls. Some people would be freaking out, but they are. People are like so supportive of it. I can't believe it. So I got a bunch of rags. I don't know where, if I, where I should put them. They're clean, and I think I'm gonna stick them in my first aid kit. I'm literally always looking for clean rags. I got this cute little fan for me this morning. <laughs> the dogs are like, yeah, we're in the barn. So I can actually hang it or I can sit it. If I need it, actually I'll get Sam to do it. We got a lot of the wood that we are gonna need to build stuff today to build the chicken coop. Sam still needs to get wood for this. So he's gonna try and get wood that matches this and he's gonna fill these in. So it'll be like a regular horse stall on the bottom. He's gonna fill them in. Oh, there's a plug right there. So that no horse can put their feet through. Right now it has this mesh stuff, which I mean, it works, but it doesn't look that nice. Sam had that, the idea to fill that in with, um, with, you know, what are those, what are those little spindle things that we have in our stalls, that most people have in their stalls? I don't know. He was gonna put those little pole things there, or else we could put wood there and build them up to make each stall individual, so that the horses aren't touching one another. Keeping in tune with my 
group stalling idea. Another thing that's really important for horses if they are in a stall is that they're able to touch one another. I've been doing so much reading over like the last year and basically there are different ways to accommodate like a group stalling situation. So some people have like a single horse in one stall with no access to another horse. Those are the most stressed horses. Then there are stalls where they can reach each other that's like the next level down so it's not as good as group stalling but if you have to keep them in stalls at least they have like a friend especially if they get along that they can interact with and that reduces the stress a little and then there's a third one and i forget what it is and then the best way is to have like a group stalling space this is it and i know that our girls all get along really well so today right now while the where while they are doing um the horses i'm going to get all the hay out of here but i've been raking it up in the aisles and there's quite a bit there i just found this sign it goes like this but i was thinking what if i like made this into a hanging sign i think i'm going to do that there's so many treasures on this property I actually love this cabinet, so I just cleaned it up, cleaned it off. Um, I'm going to maybe move it, but imagine this, thanks Hoot, was a, ta a tack locker. In fact, I could move it closer to there to make room, to make better room, and I could put my saddle in here, and then it would be so close to wherever I'm going to tack up. I don't even know where I'm tacking up yet, though, but this is a really nice tack locker. Guess what your job is today? Nothing. <laughs> so the girls have been doing work every single day. You got a bracelet? Yeah. It's cute. It matches your dog's collar. Doesn't she have? Green. Oh, so every day we give the girls a job. We give them one or two jobs, huge jobs, and once they're finished, they're done for the day. Where's Gabby? I think she's still in bed. The job today is you're picking up all this hay and transporting it wherever Sam says we have to. And then your second job for the day, you can do it no, in the morning. you said one. One or two. You said one. The set, but we need to get this done. So the second job is, up the eggs? is to come out here and pick up these rocks. Go find Gabby <laughs> and tell her that it's time to wake up because it's 9 a.m. and it's not getting any cooler out here. I cleaned a lot of those vines off. Some of them are really hard to get. I need a ladder. Oh, look. There's a ladder right here. <laughs> I use that. But I'm not climbing up on that ladder. I don't know how safe it is. But anyway, this shelter is literally not cool at all. The sun is coming from over there. The sun is coming from over there. So Sam's going to have to build a side on that thing. But I think it'll work out anyways because when you come in this stall that's going to be Chino and, Hunt and Willow's indoor outdoor stall, it's big. And it is cool in here, like so cool in here. Sam, I have more jobs for you. So see the shelter out there? I cleaned it and I cut a ton of grass out there. I should have done it before and after, but I cut all the grass. Um, that shelter out there is not shady. She knows no way he's gonna survive in the sun. So I think you have to build like a wall. In fact, he could put like a wall over there, like build that in, and then he could even build in this side, and then they could go in and almost be like an extra shelter, a stall. It's shady in the afternoon there. Anyway, it's shady in here. So what are you working on first thing this morning? Well, I was gonna have an idea for the tank room. Gonna... What was it? You know all those square pieces, yeah, see there's no. What? Some shade is all, the sun is like from there. Yeah, the sun is crazy. Stacking them up like in, in the squares, right? Yeah, so Sam has wood so, that he's going to put here. There, 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 there. And then he's going to hang our saddles up on this and wall. Same. And then it'll be a nice clean wall. All right. Good. And so I'm going to, I have five of these things, or six of them, five I think, and we're going to use these for nesting boxes. I'm just taking a break out of the heat. And I wanted to show you, Sam's already got our first Timu order at this house. I'll show you what Sophie got, one of the things Sophie got. But Sam's specialty is buying amazing lights. So he ordered this light. Like we have all these crazy lights at our old barn. Really nice bright lights. I don't know if you guys noticed, but our barn is always so bright. We got 
these high powered lights, they're off. I got it off team mode. For 50 bucks. And so 50 bucks a pair two. For two. And, that, and the only reason they were so expensive is because I got the most the most wattage one. So the most high Yeah, so one. in like all, not on Timu, how much would that cost? It's probably a hundred bucks each. Yeah, like but, these are really neat lights. Yeah, so these are LED obviously, but you can point them in different directions if you need the light in a certain direction. And the beauty of them is how do you plug them in? And the beauty is they just screw into a regular light bulb. They screw into a regular light bulb. As soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, I knew there was a reason I married so you. So if we can get up that high. We can. I can climb up there. You hold the ladder, I'll climb up there. This is our new saddle wall. I wish it was all black. He didn't have enough black panels. But this is our saddle rack. I'm going to do something different for our hanging saddles. I, have, I found something on Pinterest. And I think I'm going to move this furniture all the way back to here and then we have more space sam's trying to talk me into letting him go and get us a pool literally the dogs will not come outside like honestly they will not um although ruby molly just came out but whenever i let them out they run and sit by the door we brought over our furniture we're gonna put them on the for front porch molly? Once you go to the track, Molly sits right there and waits yeah they took her they went she went with them this morning to the other barn and they were so hot cover up all this yes yeah. that's okay we have so this is hardware cloth and we have to like we cover up down there feet. too hardware cloth is so much better against predators if you dig we can uh, go down more you want me to dig into this good dirt so I like it. I like it that small. And the reason I like it that small is because one, we can have two doors. I can open them. The chickens during the day, the chickens can have nice breeze. And then I also have my, my baby thing. So like my brooder, I want to put in here. I can put it down there. So I have like a table and stuff that I can bring in here and put our food in here. I'm going to also go and get a broom and scoop this out. I like it. I think that that will work. I have to figure out how to like attach this. Oh, it's attached. Yeah, that's attached. Okay, that's perfect. So then we have a door, and we're gonna put the door at that end, or we're gonna put the door at this end. Um, the door's quite big. The door would be better at that end, but then I'd have to cut this. Well, put the door there if you want. That's fine. I'm not picky. No, I just have to so we have a bunch of stuff here. Oops, we have a bunch of stuff here. We're going to try and finish the chicken coop. Sam made a door already. The weather literally just changed. Oh, it was so hot. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I'm really stressed about my horses. We see them four times a day. We go, we take them in, we put them out, we take them out, we put them in. Like Because of the heat, we've been leaving them on grass for 12 hours. And before the heat wave came, we started... Um, leaving them out for the whole entire day, but then once the heat wave came, we didn't like them out there in this heat. So it's been extra going back and forth, back and forth. But the heat wave just, just flipped. Like I think we can even open the windows. It's actually cool out here. So everything is a mess. Um, I, I did this, I did a path in here. There's a bunch of bricks here. I thought it was just like a little bit of wood, but it's actually bricks. I tried cutting a bunch of tree branches down. I thought this was was broken. I thought there was like nothing covering this, but there is. Um, I don't know. I've looked everywhere on here to see if there's any broken areas. I think I want to cover it with hardware cloth still because hardware cloth is way better. Uh, our chickens are gonna love this. They're gonna love going in out here. It's actually quite big. I don't know if you can see. Like, it's pretty big. It's just not tall. I cut down a bunch of branches. This branch here, I can't get out. I'm gonna have to get Sam to help me. Or this one, like I really, oh, I got it. You guys are good, look. 
Uh, yeah. Maybe I can ease this. All right, so I'm gonna keep working at this because I'm gonna have to try and get this cut off, this big branch here. Um, I want like, the, I know that the chickens will love to have little trees and stuff in there. They'll have sun and they'll have shade. There's some wood there blocking the chicken door. Oh my gosh, oh, that's a ramp. Wow, I wonder how that opens. That is not a nice ramp. And this vlog asking everybody, what is the one thing you hate about this farm? That we have to work so hard after moving everything. Yeah, we had, that's true. Like it wasn't a ready-made farm. <laughs> Next farm, everything's gonna be done. <laughs> you think we're gonna move again? Yeah, maybe. All right. I actually yeah. dreamed that we do move once more. <laughs> I dreamed this farm, I dreamed that we move here, and then I dream we move again. Okay, one thing you hate about this farm. The water. You don't like the water? So one thing I hate about this farm is that it's, the, the house is really big, and we've had big houses before, and I'm used to that, but in this house, it's on a whole other level. Whenever I need something done, or I need one of the kids, I call them, and watch what happens. Sophie! Nothing, nothing happens because nobody can hear me. No matter where I am in this house, like I never know where anybody else is. I can't hear them. Like normally I can hear that somebody's moving around in the kitchen or somebody's moving around in the living room. I can't hear anything in this house. Tell me one thing you hate about this farm. Raccoons. Raccoons, so there's a lot of raccoons and that's gonna be an issue. The last thing I hate about this house is kind of a two-parter. One, every single floor has totally different, like a different feel. And these things aren't completely flush. So my body, my feet, do not have the right calluses built up to walk on this floor. So my feet are hurting all the time. My have both had that problem. You have that problem too? Yes, every so, time I move. Even this floor right here has a weird texture and it hurts my feet. Not this one. And the floor out there has a different weird texture and I don't have the calluses built up for it. And lastly, these steps, which need to be swept, are so wide. Like they're so wide and deep. And it is actually hard to walk up the stairs. Even Ellie has a struggle. Is the dogs always are so excited to go in my room. Yeah, the dogs hang out in Sophie's room because she has a carpet and they like to lay on that. Yeah. So every time, and that's another thing. Right, Maddie? When I said I could ever find anybody in this in this house, it's not just the girls, it's also the dogs. Like I literally cannot find anybody in this house. Like they're always gone. I can be in one room and I'm alone for the longest time and we're not used to that. But going back to the textures and the stairs, the drop from each step is so much greater than I'm used to that every time I have to go down, the step, it's like stretching out my my heel. And it hurts. <laughs> You're like a chipmunk. <laughs> Obviously these are things that we're gonna get used to and it's not that big of a deal. It's still totally worth it. But we are getting there. I just wanna like have everything safe and ready for our animals to come. My heart has been aching for my horses. I miss them so much. I am so excited, like honestly so excited to just be able to come out here and sit and relax with my horses and look at the view. Like the view in every direction, every window I look out of the house has a view even better than this. Ellie, come here. That is a dead thing, I know it is. Come here, come here. Come on, I'm not trying to trick you. What you got? Good girl, don't rub it on me. Oh. Thanks, yep, it's a dead thing. Ew, ew, how am I gonna get rid of it, Ellie? Ah, get out. Blah. Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Ooh. Yuck. I really wanna bring the chickens home this weekend and I really wanna bring the horses home 
really soon. We have a horse show next week and I don't know if I wanna bring the horses home here or if I wanna bring them home after the horse show. I think I wanna bring them home after the horse show, but I'm dying to take them for a trail ride here. So if the weather cools down and we can ride and it's supposed to cool down a little, I might have Sam drive the horses in and do a trail ride on our property. So lots of fun, exciting things for us to discover and do on this little farm. Actually, it's not so little. Don't you know that you're beautiful?